Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vamps here. Today I just wanted to talk about um, transmog and I've seen a lot of uh, comments recently on some other people's videos talking about how transmog doesn't sell and it takes forever to sell, which is true. It does take forever to sell, but it does sell and it does sell for quite a bit and it, it usually makes people a lot of gold if they can get the right items to sell. So there's a lot of things that go into transmog selling and today I just wanted to talk about one of the easiest ways that you can see consistent sales with transmog and I'm just going to go into three uh, three ways that you can basically increase the amount of auctions you have on a transmog character. So the first way that you can uh, bolster your inventory of transmog is pretty obvious. It's, it's just by farming. Uh, so out open world farms. Um, and farming dungeons for transmog are both really great methods for building building that stock of transmog so that you can increase the amount of auctions you have and increase the amount of markets and uh, amount of people that uh, you can appeal to because that that's really what you're trying to do with transmog you're trying to appeal to as many people and as many markets as possible that will allow you to have people that want to buy your things from all kinds of different places so I mean one thing that I can recommend for uh, farming dungeons I see people get asked this a lot what dungeons do I farm and my answer to that would just be you know farm every dungeon in World of Warcraft uh, everything is gonna drop you some greens some more than others so you just got to be be wary of that but yeah just just farm every dungeon honestly and I would recommend doing about 10 to 20 runs of every dungeon Maybe 30, depending on uh, how patient you are. I'd say about around 30, 20 to 30 runs. You'll have the majority of the common drops that you'd get from each dungeon, and you might ha you might have picked up a couple of rares as well, just depending on your luck. However, anything past 30 to 40 runs, I would say you're really just aiming for the the rare the rare items from that specific dungeon, and those take lots of runs to to pick up typically so if you're shooting for those rares specifically it's because you've already got a, a massive stock on the auction house already and you're just trying to add some some big ticket items that uh, sell for a lot of gold so the next uh, piece of advice I could give is use your professions this expansion it seems like a lot of people have been complaining about professions and how they seem worthless they're not making a lot of gold but you know the old world stuff still sells. I don't think people realize that. The old world stuff still sells, and it sells pretty well, uh, especially when you're talking about transmog. I just got into this recently, maybe a couple months ago. Uh, I started with tailoring, then leatherworking, and then blacksmithing, and now I'm getting into the, uh, I, I'd call them sub, sub crafting professions, such as uh, enchanting, inscription, uh, alchemy. Just starting to get into those ones now, but tailoring makes lots of gold. The old world materials for tailoring cloth it's so cheap because the people that level up they put they put so much of that cloth onto the auction house because so much of it drops while they're leveling leatherworking is a little more expensive but blacksmithing is the most expensive in terms of uh, crafting all the old world transmog but blacksmithing will I believe blacksmithing will yield the biggest profit just because people are trying to transmog their weapons there's lots of really cool weapons that blacksmiths can craft that sell for a lot of gold. I'm talking 60, 70 K plus. Um, leatherworking is great because you can make leather transmog and male transmog. Like I said, I started with tailoring, got into leatherworking a little bit, still leveling up leatherworking. I don't have all of the patterns from all of the past expansions yet. And just now starting to get into a little bit of blacksmithing. And it's taken a lot of investment because I have to I don't farm the materials myself because I just buy them off the auction house because I have that base of gold that I can just buy the materials I need in order to craft in order to craft uh, these transmog pieces so that I can put them on the auction house for profit and I have my TSM set up in a way that I won't it won't tell me to craft a specific item unless it's giving me a specific profit and my posting operation posts that item at a specific price so that I'm not selling the item at a loss so I'll always be getting profit on the item if it sells so it does take a lot of gold to invest into tailoring leatherworking blacksmithing to get all of these items on the auction house 
but once you once you get them all in the auction house you don't have to worry about it anymore all you have to do is repost them every day every two days every 12 hours depending on uh, how long you post your auctions for i personally do mine for 24 hours because i can relist every day at the moment so that's what works for me i'm slowly building back up to the starting amount of gold or the starting capital that i had once i surpass that I'll still have all of those items on the auction house and I'll have replaced the ones that I've already sold. So I'm, I'm basically set for ever until I stop playing the game. Use your professions. People keep complaining about the professions, but they're still good. Everything sells. Everything will sell. It just depends who's looking for it on what day. We don't know, but someone might be. All right, so the third uh, thing I wanted to talk about is vendor transmog. Now, this transmog is really easy to pick up. You just go to the different vendors around around the world, and they sell transmog. You just have to set the uh, the buying window to you just have to set the drop down window to binds on binds when equipped, and then you can see all of these different pieces of transmog that these vendors can sell. And so you can see on the screen now that uh, I'm I'm looking at the Cataclysm. BOE uh, transmog vendors and I, I personally just buy one of every single one of these every few weeks and I just include it in my transmog group and these these actually sell and it's surprising I think it's because people don't know where to buy them maybe or maybe it's just laziness I'm not sure but people buy them so I'm gonna keep listing them and those aren't the only transmog vendors in the game like you can go to any almost any vendor and they'll sell at least something like even these white items sell uh, shirts sell really well as too um, yeah I mean white items sell and it's kind of weird but I mean if you're making gold can't really complain so you can see on the screen now I've got I've got this this uh, group in my TSM called vendor under transmog and this is just all of the vendor items in the game that can be self sold as transmog and I got this group from in student arbitrage's discord he has a TSM channel and I picked this this string up from a guy that created a bunch of uh, TSM groups and then this vendor group was one of them well that's all I've got for you guys for today I just wanted to talk about how you could easily increase the amount of transmog auctions you have so that you can see more consistent sales in the future so hopefully I accomplished that if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Also, I've got a Twitter, and if you want to follow me, the link is in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.